There are 45 people in a room. If each person is asked to shake everyone else's hand exactly once, how many total handshakes would there be? I would consider this a combinations problem. And to solve a combinations problem, you are seeing how many ways you can combine a certain number of elements out of a total number of elements. Specifically in this problem, we have 45 total elements and an element happens to be a human being or a person. And out of those 45 elements, we are trying to combine two hands at once or two elements. To solve a combinations problem, start by writing a fraction bar and write the total number of elements for your numerator and the total number of elements you are combining at one time as your denominator. The next thing that we are going to do is start multiplying numbers backwards from the total number of elements, counting by ones. However, do not go all the way down to the number one. What you have to do is look at your denominator. Because it is two, we are only going to do the first two numbers in our factorial. So we are going to do 45 times 44. If we were seeing how many ways to combine three elements, then we would do the first three numbers going backwards. Or if we were combining four, we would do the first four numbers in our factorial going backwards. But because we are only combining two people at one time with a handshake, only do the first two numbers in your factorial at the top. For the denominator, you should multiply all the way backwards for your factorial. So if you were combining four people or elements, you would multiply 4 going backwards all the way to the number 1. The next thing we should remember is that with combinations, your answer is always going to be a whole number. You will never have a fraction for an answer. This means all numbers found in the denominator will be canceled out. For example, 2 and 44 can be canceled out, 2, 22, and 1. So at the top, we have 45 times 22, and on the bottom we just have 1. So we have to figure out what 45 times 22 is. And 45 times 22 is 990. 990 divided by 1 is 990 and that is our whole number. So we would say that in a room of 45 people, if everyone shook hands exactly one time, there would be 990 handshakes. And this is one way that you can solve the handshake problem.